seeing Americans live freely for the first time in months enrages them. It means their own power is dissipating, it's slipping away. And so they stamp their feet in frustration as they watch it. They pour their venom onto social media and red-faced hits on cable news. They loved this pandemic, this tragedy, every sad minute of it. It made them feel indispensable, omnipotent, like gods. They desperately don't want it to end. Reporters are supposed to be open-minded and curious. That was once their job description. But our media are no longer interested in learning what they don't know. They're not journalists anymore. They're gatekeepers. They believe their job is to make sure that no prole in America ever has an unauthorized thought. Wherever free thinking emerges, our media are there to slap it down and suppress it. So for months, they demanded we not think about where this virus came from. Stop thinking! Any suggestion that it may have come from China, they told us, was dangerously racist. The president referred to the coronavirus as a, quote, foreign virus. And I think it's going to smack, uh, it's going to come across to a lot of Americans as smacking of uh, xenophobia. Xenophobic wartime Trump, yeah. um, where he thinks the only path now is to basically declare the virus public enemy number one, uh, to paint it in somewhat racist terms. The xenophobia and the racism in outbreak is such a common thing, and it is incredibly dangerous. It is problematic, and it is scary, and I just really want to call that out. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Hilarious. It would be amusing to ask HR departments and network television why they exclusively hire morons with no self-awareness. Maybe they're cheaper. No, the virus likely did not come from mammals that for some reason were being sold in a seafood market in Wuhan. Not from bats, not from pangolins, whatever those are. No, instead, it much more likely came from a research lab. Now, initially, Chinese sources, you may remember this, claimed the virus had jumped from an obscure scaly animal called a pangolin, which was sold in the Wuhan wet market. But that explanation didn't make any sense. Wet markets are seafood markets. Pangolins are mammals. And then the Chinese government began emitting smoke screens in the media. They used Western race guilt as a defensive weapon against the West. While China imposed tough internal travel restrictions, for example, it attacked Western governments for any restrictions they thought about placing on China as racist. Result? Many thousands of people left Wuhan and came to Western countries, where they started outbreaks in dozens of cities. New York. Seattle, Milan. At the same time, Chinese diplomats began telling the world that the virus actually had come from America, maybe from the U.S. military, maybe from a lab. They denounced any claims to the contrary as, give you three guesses, racist. And it worked. Of course it worked. That's why they did it. But for the Chinese government, which thinks long term, the whole thing has been a blessing. In fact, they believe it's the beginning of a new Chinese century.